we're on an adrenaline right now. Honestly, I mean, it's such an amazing and joyful time that uh, we're not concerned with sleeping and, and all that because it's, it's the most beautiful time in our lives. I mean, it's the beginning of a family, so it's exciting. That's a beautiful thing. And, yeah. and is everybody coming from home from the hospital soon, soon. I uh, I, I was told as early as Sunday, oh. possibly Monday, so That's I'm excited. Nice. I can't wait to get back there. You know, the, the nursery's all prepared. I got the car seats in my car. I'm ready all right, to go. you got it all set up. Yeah, ready for that long drive home. I heard that's like the most intense drive ever. It is, and, and <laughs> she's probably going to make you keep the heat on like 90 degrees in the car. I, I remember <laughs> right. my sister doing that when I drove my, my nephew home from the hospital. And, and so obviously, an amazing time. Unfortunately, there was big news breaking today yeah, yeah. concerning you and your family. Now, right. uh, this is, I imagine, something that has been very difficult to deal with. Let me make sure I get it exactly right. This is what we heard from Mariah's rep earlier today. Okay. That while Mariah and the twins were in the hospital, someone there allegedly called in a bogus claim to the L.A. Department of Child and Family Services, all trying to get pictures of the twins. What exactly happened? Man, there's so much stuff going on. I mean, we've had people posing as uh, workers in the hospital with cameras trying to get pictures. and. Uh, but this specific incident was uh, about, I guess, I don't know, the, the Child Protective Services actually came, came to me while I was in the hallway and said that they were here to see me because there had been allegations that uh, there was drug and alcohol use, not only, like, during the stay <laughs> in uh, the hospital. In the Mariah wing of the hospital. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, well, how would that even be possible? Like, how... How could the hospital even allow yeah. that? Uh, but uh, allegedly the story was taken from uh, a nurse actually just in past. I guess it, this is a common thing said, you know, if you drink some Guinness, like a, a, a beer, beer. Yeah, I've heard yeah, this. Yeah, the yeast in there actually helps with the breastfeeding. Right. And that was told to my wife. And I guess someone maybe overheard that and it was like this is a good way to you know make a quick buck or call the tabloids and it's kind of sad uh, that they, they people think that you know we'll make money off of these newborns and yeah even, and, and know, they probably figure we'll get in there somebody will take a picture we'll be able to leak that out i mean this is just outrageous the twins yeah. not even two weeks old yeah, yet i mean this weeks. is this is all going on look you're not naive to this we've seen this before those right. pictures are right now the most valuable baby pictures on the planet there is a bounty for them <laughs> How concerned are you about the demand that is surrounding the desire for these pictures to be out there? Uh, I'm extremely concerned for a few reasons. One, because I, I kind of told myself and kind of stood on my soapbox and said, you know, I'm not going to pimp my children. I don't want to put pictures out there. But then when you think about the fact that, you know, you're going to have photographers and people going to uh, these links to get pictures, it, it gets a little scary. So yeah. you have to figure out a way like, all right, we got to give the public what they want, but then at the same time, we have to do it in a classy way, in a way to where it doesn't seem like we're out there parading our children. Yeah, around. well, from, from you and Mariah, I would expect nothing less. So we'll obviously look <laughs> forward you. to that. When, when you guys say the time is right.